hey, interview on the street. What, 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 who are you wearing? What's your least favorite fashion trend? Would you rather drink coffee or cooking oil? <laughs> That's so funny. Do you get that reference? No. <laughs> Welcome to the fishbowl. I'm Remy. And I'm Hannah. And today, boy oh boy, do we have a video for you. In fact, we do. Um, because we recorded things and we're gonna tell you about them. Basically, we... We went charity shopping. We did. We did that. We have a list of 10 miraculous items and we went on a, a search to find uh, things that match these descriptions, both individually. And then today we're going to be talking about what we found and why they are exciting. And we're going to be comparing the items that we found and you're going to enjoy it. That's kind of the whole thing. Anything else to add, Remy, before we get into it? Um, yeah, there is something to add is that I lost all my footage. And it was really good. Oh, yeah. so, <laughs> I thought you were doing that accusingly. Anything to add? No. I actually forgot about that already. <laughs> so it's fine. So if you I'll see, describe like really gross looking doodles in place of uh, B-roll or roll yeah. as it could be called, um, that's because Remy's silly. Anyway, let's get into the video. Let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing I have on this list is something green and squishy. Now, looking through... I'll share my something green and squishy because I know what it is off the top of my head. Okay, but I don't actually think I found anything green and squishy. Well, couldn't be me. I found a little Frankenstein stuffed animal plush man, and it was green and squishy. squishy. And if I still had my... If I had my barrel, you would see that I was squishing it because it was mm. soft and squishy. That is very cool. I didn't find anything green and squishy. So moving on to the next thing is a sticky item, which I actually am not sure if I found a sticky item either. I just I took a video of in one of the charity shops I went to. There's mm -hmm. like this section of like kids stuff, like toys and stuff, but they all look like they have not been cleaned ever, and just looking at oh. them, it like makes me feel like. I don't want to say it makes me feel sticky, but I look at it and I feel unclean. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? That's so that's how I feel when I look at you. Here is like an example. There's just this basket full of like... Mm -hmm. But it just looks like... I didn't want to touch it in case it was sticky. Yeah. But it probably is sticky. I think my sticky item's better than yours, but whatever. Well, I was ahead. in a charity shop and there was... By the toys, there was like... A bit where they had like um, DVDs and movies and you know the same things DVDs and movies and like two shelves full of toys and in these two of these shelves across the middle of both of them they had tons of wasp traps like boxes and boxes of wasp traps like you put like you're supposed to put like sugar and water in them like something sticky and they get stuck in there and someone just left them all there there was probably at least 20 of them like in boxes like hadn't been opened um, I'm sorry, Remy. That wasn't a charity shop. That was actually a wasp trap, and you were let in, like the silly little wasp that you are. Mm, <laughs> and they totally I got you. I don't think that's true. I think it is. You're so crazy, girl. Yeah, you just went. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Oh, some bzz. little funky sticky things. Bzz, bzz, bzz. <laughs> I'm gonna go investigate. Bzz, bzz, bzz. So dumb. Anyway, moving on. This is my favorite one. Now, this is the only item that I found and I purchased. I know. No, this, is the only item that I found. this is the only thing I actually got. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, this is the only time where I saw something and I was like, you know what? I actually need that thing. So my soft friend is this little bear. Oh. And he's so small and so cute. And I brought him home and I gave him a little bath. And I'm going to put in some footage of like me giving him his bath and everything. And his name is Henry because it says so on his label. And um, he's adorable. And I, I knitted him a little like vest thing, but it's too small. He's just so cute and so soft and so squishy. His name is Henry? 
Yeah, like Jason Bateman's character in Mr. Magorium's Wonder Emporium. Coincidence? <laughs> I think not. <laughs> Have something to say for yourself? No. You're so right. Sorry for screaming. I was just so excited. <laughs> I love it when the conversation comes back to Miss Figorium's Wonder Emporium every two seconds. I love it. <laughs> And I'm sure our listeners will too. I saw many soft friends when I was out, but one that really struck a chord was a carrot. It was like a stuffed carrot. Like an Ikea carrot? Not even like an Ikea carrot, because I've seen the Ikea carrots, but it had like proper eyes that were big. It was really scary, actually. Like, it was supposed to be a friend, but I was scared. Why did I imagine like real human eyeballs when you said proper eyes? (laughs) You know how like some stuffed things had like those plastic... Like huge yes. plastic eyes. That's what they were. And I was like, I don't like that. I don't like when you have like a soft thing, but with like a little scared. hard bit. Like, why would you? No, no, no. Cut that one out. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Swiftly. Next, we have a not cup, which I actually I originally found these salt shakers and I was like that's perfect but then even better I found these salt shakers shaped like sheep and there's Say that five times fast salt shaker shaped like sheep salt shaker shaped like sheep salt shaker shaped like sheep shaker shaped like sheep it's putting me off that you're doing it at the same time I feel like I could do it if you weren't I think I said sheep sexy in there by accident sexy sheep anyway and what's yours not cut my knot cup was a hand-carved pipe from France. It was antique. It was from the 1800s, and it had a little face on it. And, yeah. It was, like, you know how pipes look? You know how pipes are? Oh, yeah. There's, like, the drinking bit, and there's, like, the end bit, and the end bit had the face on it. And I was like, wow. Hannah would love that. It seems kind of scary. It's like you're putting a face on fire. Is that how pipes work? How do, you're not supposed to burn them. But you burn the stuff that's in them. How does it not burn the pipe if yeah. the pipe is made of wood? It's probably got some kind of... Irrigation. You irrigate me. It's got some kind of... <laughs> you're so irrigating. It's got some kind of, like, stuff on the inside, probably, like... So it doesn't... I don't know. Don't ask me! Cool. Okay. The next next prompt. You want to explain yourself with the next prompt? Something really ugly that your mother would wear? Yeah. Um. Hi, Michelle. By, no, by your mother, I mean, like, a mother, you know? It gives, like, mother yeah. vibes. Um, mm-hmm. That's, like, you go and you're like, mm. Now, I had a problem with this. This was the one that was, yeah. like, at the front of my mind when I was going in. I had a problem with this, too, because it was a hard prompt, and you made it up for what? It was a hard prompt, because... It's difficult because you get to like, there's like a scale of ugly. Mm -hmm. And it's gotta be like ugly ish, but not too ugly. Because when it's too ugly, it's cool. You know what I mean? Uh, You get to a point on the ugly scale and you're like, you're asking me. You're asking me if I know what you mean by (laughs) ugly fashion. Girl, have you seen my shorts that I'm wearing today? No, but those are cool. Yeah, because they're so ugly. (laughs) It goes back around. Exactly, it's like a circle, and but you have to like find a point where it's like not too ugly. So it's like yeah, it's really hard. Cause a lot of the things that I saw, I was like, my mom's friends would wear that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, same kind of thing. I was like, I don't think my mom would wear that. Um. So I think I took a few. I couldn't find anything satisfactory enough. Um, and what I did is I took a photo of a really ugly jacket that I would wear. It was really like as a fashionable really... thing. Yeah, because hmm, yeah. it was it was so ugly. But I was like, yeah, I would. I have this one. I think is pretty ugly. It's got like beads around the collar, and that's like yeah. not cool ugly because that would just be no. like uncomfortable to wear, and it wouldn't go with anything. But your turn. Yeah, I already showed my a really ugly jacket that I would wear, which oh, I don't right. think you don't ha- you don't have pictures. So, do you remember I would, what it but- looked like? Yeah, it was really ugly. It was kind of, like, metallic-y, like, gold-black, and it had, like, buttons. And it was kind of, like, 
it kind of looked like the kind of suits that um, waiters wear. Like, it was that kind of tailored look. Um, and had, like, gold buttons. It was really, it was really bad. The next prompt is, in fact, something blue you could use in a fight. Now, I think you're going to appreciate my blue item that you could use in a fight. Because this is a blue item a you regularly enjoy. Smurfs? <laughs> you regularly enjoy Smurfs. Consuming them? Is it Tobias Finke? It's something that doesn't have to... <laughs> it doesn't have to be blue, but it is blue in this case. It Tobias is Finke. a blue tie. Oh, that's You could really use cute. this as like a whip. You whip someone, you mm-hmm. could strangle them, mm-hmm. you could just like look super cool and sexy and fashionable that they like, whoa, I can't fight you, as I'm sure. I know a lot about that. Yeah. What's your blue item? Um, my blue item was a tennis racket. And it was a tennis racket, and I was like, that's blue, and I could use that in a fight, and I would. You would fight me with a tennis racket. If we went head to head in- with a tennis racket. But not in a game of tennis. <laughs> you, if you started hitting me with a tennis racket and I started whipping you with a tie, I think that would make for a really fun fight. No! <laughs> Remy, stop doing this! I don't like the implications of those two things. <sighs> Moving on. <laughs> something that makes you angry, which I feel is very fitting, because Remy's making me angry right now. Remy's making me very angry. Um, I definitely did find... Something. Oh yeah, this made me angry because it's in fact not my 11th birthday and <laughs> it made me feel like I'm really old and I don't like that and it also made me angry that it's not my birthday um, and I think, you know, that's Because you want to be 20 ASAP. <laughs> Whoa, that's disgusting. The fact that we're going to be 20 on our next birthdays. That's like 2-0. You can't be an angsty teen anymore, you know. I'm gonna beat Teen Pregnancy. <laughs> Rick. That's kind of sad. My you can never something be a that makes. Mom. I. Okay. <laughs> My something that makes me angry is Atonement, the movie, because as you know, I love the book Atonement, and the movie is shit because Joe Wright is a bad director. And he literally took all the nuance of the movie and was like, how about we don't do that? And he added every actor he liked, and he was like, how about I do that and also take all the characterization away? And it was awful. Every time I see that movie, I want to cry because I don't want to see it. Mm, that's like how I feel cry when I like hang anger. out with you. Then cry right now. I already had a cry before we started filming in preparation. Well, Got all, got all my cries out of the way. I was like, oh, I have to hang out with Remy. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, I better get on with it now. Well, speaking of getting on with it, what's something that's edible that you wish... <laughs> something that's not edible that I wish it was. This is what I found. Now, you're going to be like, what? But that blue one, if yeah. that was tiny and made of chocolate, I would yeah. eat that up. That looks so chocolatey, like you know? If anything was tiny and made of chocolate, you'd eat that. <laughs> I know, but that look like that looks like it could be no, yeah, really tasty. I see the vision. And like the way that it would like, and you, you know, you can just like a little like. Anyway, I just I saw that I was like I was really struggling to find one for this one, and this was actually the last one that I found. And I was like, you know what, I would eat that. In fact, it doesn't even need to be edible. I will chop that right now. I feel like that would be a good TikTok audio. <laughs> I gotta eat that. I need that right now. Even if it's not edible, chomp that right now. <laughs> um, I didn't find something that's edible, that that I can remember. That's I might not have found edible, one. girl. Get right. You know what I mean. I might have found one and have just forgotten. Well, because I you have, have no. Proof. You have five seconds right now to come up with one. But, Mr. McGuire's Wonder Emporium, the DVD. That's exactly what I was gonna say anyway. I was gonna say because that movie is so. Well, you can't. Delicious, scrummed, and yes, You can't. If that movie was a food, I would eat that so good. What would it be as a food? I think it would be. It would be like a cake, but not like a I cake. I was gonna you say a cake, I mean? like a pavlova or something. Yeah. 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 And something with like kind of like pretty frosting. You know, like those frog cakes? Like yeah. that, but like neon. Yeah. 
And with like lots of like um sprinkles. Sprinkles and like the fizzly ones. The pop, pop, pop. pop rocks? Yeah, like those kind of things. <laughs> pop rocks on a cake. Yeah. And like crushed up Skittles and like some like a bunch of like really random yeah. stuff just on Yeah. That would actually I could imagine it as like a uh, milkshake. Yes. Mr. Gorium's Wonder Emporium milkshake. milkshake. We gotta get onto that. This could be a business. Oh, I'm sorry. You two seconds An ago. ice cream. I love hearing about Mr. McGordon's Wonder Emporium <laughs> every two seconds. An ice cream. Yeah. It'd be like everything ice cream. Popping cat. It'd be like the... It'd be like birthday cake ice the, cream. The Cadbury's chocolate, like the marvelous creations. That is Mr. McGorham's Wonder Emporium mm-hmm. as a food. Yeah. Okay, and so the next thing is your favorite thing, which you've been expecting and waiting for this whole time. Something that Jason Sudeikis might purchase for you as a gift. If you were his friend, which you are, so something that he is probably going to get you for your next birthday, as a like a congratulatory gift for you not becoming a teen mom. Yeah. yeah. And I'd want that for him. I'd want him to congratulate me on the hardness of not being a teen mom, the difficulty. Yeah. Anyway, um, I found a little like um, Fight Club soap. That's like I don't know how to explain. I don't know what material it was made of because it was like in a glass case. Um, but it was, like, soap, and it had, like, the little, it said Fight Club on it. Was it like, just actually Fight Club soap? soap? It was not actually soap. Because it definitely was, like, plastic or rubber or something. How do you know? Did you take a nibble? Like, that's the only way that I can tell something soap, is by taking a nibble. But it's not soap. No, what would you? Is it pottery? Is it, like, clay? It didn't look like pottery. It looked like it could have been rubber or plastic or some other kind of, like... I don't know, figurine? But it's not figurine, you know? It's, like, it's, it's block of soap. Oh, it's probably, like, plastic, I'd say. Yeah, but what do you call that? It's not a statue. It's not a figurine. Why is it not a figurine? Because figurine's a person. Figure. Ean. Um... A plastic soap... Drop down in the comments what you think you'd call that. If it's not a figurine, but it's soap. Mm. It's not really a statue. Um, my, what's your... My thing, I was gift. really hoping to find any movie with Jason Sudeikis in it. Because I was like, he would give you a movie with him in it for your like birthday or something. But I couldn't yeah. find anything, and I was really upset by that. So instead I have this, and it's a fish, but it's a hair clip. Oh, and that's really cute. I think that he would see that and he'd be like, that's so quirky. I'm going to give that to someone. You know? Mm-hmm. I feel like it gives me Jason vibes. Yeah. Um, on the fish theme, I also found this, like, little fish guy. It's, I don't even know what it is, but um, I took a video it's of a it. It's a figurine statue. Pigs. Yeah, it's a figurine statue, um, plastic soap fish. Um, but it's not a soap because I had a nibble. <laughs> so we're safe and then I think we're on to our last one mm-hmm. which you're going to be really disappointed actually I feel like I can use this one as, as it's our last category is an unexpected shape now I was kind of like I feel like you look at things and you're like okay that's an okay shape for things I struggled to find something that was not the shape it should have been. We could we could rename this Hannah struggling to find things that she made a list about finding. She made That's, all these prompts and then is like, is. what? This is so hard. Who did this to me? <laughs> this is true. The call is coming from inside of the house. It's you. Frick. But I am going to go for this thing. I found these frozen, like, Barbies, but the hand of... This one is so like. This one, you wanna you wanna say what her name is? No, she remains anonymous. Her hand is like chewed up or something, or like burnt, or it just looks definitely like, chewed up. Hannah, let me all be not, honest. That's not what a I, hand is supposed to look no, like. No, let me be honest, Hannah. I definitely chewed up a Barbie hand in my life. Yeah, that gives you vibes. It looks like like gum, like chewed gum. I'm I'm not yeah. surprised by that. You would. That you, yeah, maybe this is your no. doll. That movie came out, what, when I was 10? Actually, I was done chewing on dolls. did you maybe visit this charity shop in secret, nibble up a little hand, and then leave, and not even buy anything? Take a few pics, yeah. take a little nibble, and leave. That's, you were just that's checking me. to see if it was soap. I wanted to know if it was soap. What's your thing? 
my thing that's an unexpected shape was like a hair clip, right? But like the fish hair it had a it had a thing on it, like um This is so hard to explain. It had you know how the hair clips have something at the end sometimes, like a little mm-hmm. design. It was like a little person that's like a bomb. And Sorry? it looks you know a bomb. you know okay, you know the the thing, the the logo in the Loki show? Of like T W A but it's not T W A. You've seen the Loki show. Yeah. You know the thing that is like the the clock that tells people what to do? I'll, oh, I'll the little the face on it? Yeah, that's what that looks like. But it was a bomb. It wasn't a clock. Okay, I feel like that's what we have for now. Um, ha- we, we normally have something to say at the end, don't we? Sure, so you're not com- subscribe um, And join us uh, on our next video. And if you haven't already seen our uh, we bullet, train, bullet video? train video, you need to see it right now. So go and watch that. It's the best one. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Bye. Clips. I'm like, can you put your phone by your mouth, please? And you're like, can I what? Can, can I what? Can you hear the aliens up there? Wait, let me translate. Can you hear? That's what I'm hearing right now. Can you hear the chicken little aliens? I have rat feces in my digestive system. Um, so we'll just go through. Does that sound weird to you? That sounds awful. Can you stop? <laughs> Is that a thunderstorm in your ears? Yes. <sighs> no. I, was I heard that, I heard that you were down to see minions in 40. Yeah. <laughs> what, in your mouth? Do I start? Yeah, you should start.